When it comes to shading hard surface objects, it's very useful to isolate the edges of our model for wear and tear. And when the pointiness attribute doesn't quite do the job, there's a trick to achieving this using ambient occlusion baking. So here in Blender, I have our sci-fi helmet ready to be baked. And to demonstrate how this works, I'm gonna go ahead and bake a regular ambient occlusion texture first. So if I scroll down to the bake settings, note that I am using Blender Render, which is my preferred method for baking. Switch the bake mode to ambient occlusion, enable normalized, select our helmet and choose bake. With that finished, let's look at it in texture paint mode. And I'll set my material to preview as shadeless, so it's just the texture. And as you're probably aware, ambient occlusion focuses darkness into the crevices of the model. And wouldn't it be nice if we could instead tell it to focus the darkness onto the edges of our model? Which is possible if we simply invert all of our face normals. So selecting the object, tab into edit mode, and here you can see that all the face normals are properly pointed outward. But over here in the shading and UVs tab, if I switch that by flipping the direction and tab back to object mode and try baking again, then we should see that, that ambient occlusion is focusing the darkness into the crevices, but our hard edges have become the crevices thanks to the normal flip. So let's bake this. There we go. You can see that our edges are now being treated like crevices. And now it's just a matter of tweaking our settings over here in the world tab. Down in the gather section, I'm gonna change the attenuation distance to 0 0.005, enable fall off, and let's make the strength, let's go for 20 and see what that gives us. And now we're getting very isolated concentration of darkness on our crisp edges. And we can very easily save this to a texture, which in turn will be used in the shader to add wear and tear to the edges.